Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I want to address why I have this growing pile of sticks in my yard. I'm going to be composting human shit. But before I turn you off, uh, I wanted to talk with an expert on the topic, um, uh, just to alleviate any concerns you might have. And the expert is myself, from the future. I uh, just downloaded a new app where I can receive uh, video uh, emails from the future. I just received uh, this this morning. I have I've not watched it myself, so we'll watch it together. Okay, listen. One thing you need to know, do not do it. Don't do it. It is the worst decision you've ever made in your entire life. I got sick for a month and this worm the size of a weasel climbed out of my ass and then it grew and now it's the size of a bear. It's the size of a bear. It is tasty. Okay, um, not what I was expecting, uh, but, you know, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, yeah try it out anyway. Let's check it out. Now, if you're still with me, you're probably wondering why would someone compost their own crap? That's gross, and it totally is. Um, only, disturbingly, it becomes less gross the more that you do it. But, yeah, take that for what you will. The reason you do it uh, is because uh, your garden needs a constant resupply of nutrients. Every time you plant a seed in here, it's growing a plant, pulling nutrients and minerals out of your garden, and those need to be replaced somehow. You can either do that with store-bought fertilizer, um, you know, not if you want to be self-sufficient though, uh, or you know, doing your own composting of something. Uh, but you need something to compost. Um, you know, uh, you can compost your food scraps. You can compost you know parts of the plant that you don't eat. Um, but if you think about it. Uh, if you're not composting all of it, there's a steady loss, uh, sort of in the same way, like if there's a big box store that moves into your town, they say that there's a, a steady siphoning off of the, of the town's uh, money supply. Instead of it staying within the system, I keep making these circles with my hand, but it's like, you know, circles. Um, uh, if all the money stays within the town, you know, uh, things seem to be stable, but if there's a constant siphoning off of that money, you know, eventually, you know, people start going broke. Um, I'm not an economist, but uh, that's the general idea. I think that's kind of a simple way of uh, talking about it. I'm sure that there's parallels between the two models that don't work. But that's the idea, is you're constantly losing uh, nutrients that you're pooping out. And composting your own poop is a way of capturing that nutrients back and putting it into the soil in a safe way instead of just like pooping in the garden, which kind of would work, but would be like really dangerous and extra gross, especially if you're like digging potatoes and shit. So that, that's the reason to do it, uh, is because you're going to be closing that loop off and you're going to be recouping a really valuable nitrogen source. And that's what composting is all about. You take carbon, you take nitrogen. Uh, I'm using carbon in the form of sticks uh, from trees that I'm, I'm trimming to uh, you know, cut down for firewood. So I, and I have 10 acres here, so I have a reasonably infinite supply of sticks. Uh, and then the nitrogen I'm getting from, you know, among other things, poop. Uh, so I'm going to show you my specific system for doing this. Now, before you even consider doing this on your own, you really need to understand that uh, there, there is a reason why this, uh, you know, is... Historically, through, through history, this has been done before. There have been very, several very successful cultures that were sort of successful because they were capitalizing on this resource. Uh, but, you know, historically, it's a bit of a rarity, and, and there's a reason for that, you know. Disease is, is an actual real thing. Uh, people commonly are, are composting, uh, you know, cow manure, horse manure, you know, whatever uh, types of manure like that that they have. Um, uh, and the reason that's safer is because not all of the pathogens that are in, um, uh, uh, you know, a cow or a sheep or a horse or anything like that are going to be human compatible. But by definition, any pathogens that are, are found in human poop are going to be human compatible. So there's just it's a higher degree of, of threat from, from the pathogens that are in there, you know, the bacteria, viruses, and things of that nature. Um, so that's why you have to be more careful about it. Uh, but if you do it correctly, uh, there's, there's no reason why you can't do it completely safely. Now, that said, um, you should not consider yourself an expert on this topic, and you should not just jump in and start it after watching my 10-minute video. This is, it's yeah, it's a little advertisement, get you interested in it so you can learn more uh, through other resources. A great resource, and I'll put down in the uh, uh, little uh, description section below, is a book called The Humanure Handbook. Do your research, uh, check it out. There are risks to doing this. You can get yourself sick, um, and, uh, you know, just you have your head screwed on properly before you do it. 
Um, there's a couple different ways people do uh, composting. One of ways, uh, the ways is a composting toilet. Now, and I used to own a composting toilet. It was in my house. It started getting fruit flies. There are thousands of fruit flies flying out of this composting toilet. That might have had something to do with the fact that I was throwing fruit scraps into the toilet also. It might have been my fault. Um, but there were also venting issues in the winter. Like You, you, ha you have to constantly vent air through uh, to get rid of the extra moisture. And in the winter, you know, I'm bringing in cold air because I live in New England. I was turning it into like a block of poo ice, poopsicles. Um, there were just a lot of problems with composting in in your own house, in a in a, a standalone unit like that. So what I decided to do, I put a, a regular toilet in my house, you know, the one kind that flushed with water, and that comes out to a septic system that I'm standing on right now. I've got a septic tank right underneath me. And I built this to recapture all of the, uh, the nutrients from my septic tank. Now I just flush it like normal and it waits down there for me. And uh, this pump goes down with a little straw that I made, and it kind of it attaches and detaches, so this isn't out, outside all the time. Uh, this handle pumps back and forth, and I made it initially so it would fill up buckets, and then I could bring that places. That was really gross. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, I retooled it so that it can screw onto a hose fitting. Uh, you can pump over here, and I've got a stick tied uh, to a hose over there. So at any point, people are like a good, you know, six, seven, ten feet away from the from the poop. So you're, you're nice and safe with this one. Whereas the other one, I'll be honest, I get splattered, and it was pretty gross. Um, so uh, what I do with this is I'm I'm pumping this fluid, which is mostly water, um, up onto my pile of sticks here. Um, the fact that it's mostly water is not necessarily a good thing uh, because the nutrients is more diluted. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pumping it onto the sticks, letting the water dry off, you know, leaving the, the nitrogen and all the good stuff that we need. And then I, I do another pumping and another pumping. So I'm just sort of layering it on it. You know, it's become a part of my daily life. It's great. Um, and what I'll do uh, with this afterwards is I'm going to tarp it. And I have to tarp, you have to tarp these whenever it's, you're going to get rain because you don't want the rain going into your composting poop pile and washing the poop out. You need it to stay there. Um, I, it's also built in a bit of a depression. Uh, so that the water kind of pools underneath. There's a, a heavy clay sort of soil there. Uh, so that once the water goes in here, it's not, it's not going to flow out down a hill or anything like that. Um, because again, there's, there's real issues that you can have with human excrement, so you got to be careful. Um, so, uh, you know, this gets tarped during the rain, and in the winter I'm going to tarp it off, let it heat up, cook, and, uh, you know, we're going to see it in the spring. This is the first time that I'm doing, uh, you know, a pile of this sort. Uh, so it's a bit experimental. Um, and I'm going to let it go for about two years, uh, just to be extra careful. I want to make sure that everything in there is composted down before I pull that out. Um, but this is going to be an excellent way of me just retaining the extra nitrogen uh, that I'm, I'm accumulating uh, through the form of poop. And I don't have to pay someone to pump my septic tank, because I can do it myself. Or I, sometimes I have little helpers. <laughs> Thanks for watching.